everyone welcome back to my channel or if you're new here then welcome to my channel please make sure you subscribe down below in today's video we've got a bit of a chatty sit down cozy kind of video i'm gonna do my makeup i'm thinking of doing like a dark winged liner maybe a dark clip but we'll see because i never do that i also asked you all on my instagram to ask me some questions and you came through with some really good questions so thanks if you did and i'm gonna answer them whilst i put my face on So I'm going to go straight on to eyes because we may get some fallout today. So the first question is why haven't you done YouTube for weeks? Um, and the honest answer to that is I don't have a proper excuse. I've just completely lost motivation for absolutely everything in my life. I look crazy. You know when you just go through them phases where you don't feel like 100% yourself? It's just come out of nowhere, nothing's bought it on, my life is fine, nothing drastic is going off. So I'm not too sure where it comes from. And also I think what started it off is I went on holiday for a few nights with my boyfriend and I didn't pre-film a video. Then I just thought, oh, that means when I come back on the Sunday, I'm going to have to film. And then I didn't have any ideas, I had no inspiration. So I thought, oh, you know what, I'm just going to have a break. And I did. That is what I did. I'm literally out in the morning at half six. I don't come back till about seven. And then it's dark, so I can't film. And then at the weekends, I'm sociable. So I go out and I haven't been making time for YouTube. And that really upsets me. So I found the motivation. I'm back. I promise I'm going to be back on it. I need to be filming every week because it really stressed me out. But I did start to put a lot of pressure on myself to make sure I've got videos filmed and kind of got to the point where it felt like a chore and I don't want it to be that because it is literally just a hobby so why am I stressing about it I shouldn't be stressing about a hobby do you know what I mean so there's a little channel update I am back I'm not quitting I did consider it not gonna lie but I think I'd be really annoyed with myself if I quit already I did ask on my Instagram but if you've got any video ideas let me know I'm just gonna answer the questions randomly now because there's so many we're not gonna follow a certain theme of questions because some of them are extremely random i'm getting really sweaty i'm gonna have to tie my hair back so next question is where will your next holiday be and i think my next holiday will be to italy because i just i went this time last year i was actually in venice this time last year and it's just such a beautiful place so i'm going back there next year hopefully fingers crossed if corona don't stay do you have youtube friends i do have youtube friends i have quite a few i'm in loads of group chats with youtubers um and haven't had the time to like fully involved with them at the moment so that's something else that i need to promise myself to um keep speaking to my youtube pals because i've met some really lovely people i'll link some people down below if you want to check out the channels what's your dream car um I think my dream car is a Mercedes. What is that black thing? Right, I'm not going to talk whilst I do this wing liner because it takes the piss. Happy autumn, by the way. Um, summer's actually my favourite season, but you know what? Autumn makes me feel some kind of way. And this is why I don't talk when I'm doing my eyeliner. What the hell? That may just be the worst winged liner I've ever done in my whole entire life. Who's your favourite curly haired friend? Georgia, obviously, darling, it's you. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm trying to smoke this out so it looks a bit better. That looks like how I used to do it at school, and that is not a good thing. Someone's asked, what was your first job? First job, I'm not going to say the company because um, I don't want to get sued. Like, they're going to watch my videos. Anyway, my first job was at a kids' adventure park. I was 16. It was horrific it blunt i've got plenty of story times for this specific workplace and i think i worked there for around eight months i think um but oh my god those eight months were difficult i got locked in a dungeon that's just a brief story that's a whole new video but i did get locked in a dungeon at that place probably over exaggerating it definitely over exaggerating it but still i was a park ranger I used to like stand at the top of the slides and stand next to the bouncy castle operate rides and things like that um it was an okay first job it was a great first job it got me a lot of experience to be honest but oh my god was that place badly managed let me know if you want the story on the dungeon jesus christ that place gives me nightmares it basically was a scare maze um they're a sister company of someone that does the scare mazes at halloween 
and I had to do it, I didn't have a choice. Last film you cried at. I had to have a good think about this because I'm not, I'm not one to watch emotional films and I'm not really one to cry at films unless it involves animals. And the last film I cried at wasn't a film, but it was a, the last thing I remember. Oh dear, look at that. Um, Ricky Gervais Afterlife. If you haven't watched it, please watch it. I cried probably about six times at that series, um, season three, I think. Is that the newest one? Season two, season three? I cried about six times at that. So um, that answers your question. So that eye's thicker than that eye. That's great news. Something tastes weird about that too. What's your five year plan? I don't have like a specific laid out plan, but I have a rough idea. So in five years, um, travelled as much as I can, be content, hopefully settled down, and hopefully have my own house. But that's very difficult, but not be living at home. That's my aim. Hopefully I'll look back on that in five years time and be satisfied. So somebody has asked, um, who said I love you first out of me and Alex, my boyfriend. Um, I haven't asked him if I can answer this question, so if I've kept that in, then he thinks it's okay, so don't worry. So it was Alex that said it first, but it was an awkward moment. <laughs> it felt really cringy saying it. It was kind of like, I want to say I love you, but I don't I don't want to say it because it makes me cringe. Um, so yeah, it was quite a funny experience. And then sticking on the theme of Alex, someone's asked how we met. We knew each other two years ago from Tinder. Had a few dates and then just kind of left it there. Then we started speaking again this year. Strange how the world works. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? I would probably stay in England to be honest for the rest of my life um, just because of my family. I wouldn't want to move away from my family. Although I would love like a holiday home in Greece, I think, or Italy where I can just go whenever I feel like. That would be amazing. If you could be any biscuit, what biscuit would you be and why? Um, thanks for the strange question. I'd probably be a chocolate digestive because they look basic, but they're really nice. <laughs> why have you got a resting bitch face? Um, that's very correct. I will not take offense to that because I have got a resting bitch face. When I'm out in public, I just like to go and get whatever I need to do done i don't look at other people i don't think about what i look like um so probably why i look really nasty but it does help me sometimes because it stops people strangers from talking to me in the street so um having a resting bitch face has its advantages believe it or not can you cook um i can cook the basic things i'm not a great cook i will back myself up and say I don't know if I'm a good cook or not because I've never fully tried to be honest. I've never tried to cook anything from scratch on my own. So, um, who knows? I've never had to, so why would I? If you won the lottery, what would you spend it on? I'd buy a house like instantly, straight away. So ready to move out, just can't afford it. In the meantime, I would go on a fat shopping trip, literally rip up my whole wardrobe and buy a whole new one, design a shopping, obviously get a new car and go on a fat holiday whilst I wait for my house to go through. If you had the world's attention for 30 seconds, what would you say? I'm no good at questions like this, but the first thing that came to my mind, I'd probably just say, be kind and don't judge people you don't know. Do you believe in ghosts? Um, Not really. I've never experienced it. I definitely think there's something there like spirits or something. I've just never experienced it for myself to say I fully believe in them. What are your opinions on plastic surgery? You do you. I would never judge anyone for having plastic surgery. If I had the money, I would have it. And that's just my choice. So if I did win that lottery money, I'd be going to get fillers and all sorts, darling. So I'm for plastic surgery if you're doing it for the right reasons and you're doing it for yourself and not for other people. What's one item you can't leave the house without? Um, my phone literally comes everywhere with me and that's really sad. What's your favorite drink? My favorite non-alcoholic drink is probably Fanta, the orange one or the fruit twist one. They are just elite drinks caramel latte for hot drinks that's my favorite hot drink favorite alcoholic drink is probably um, a vodka orange or i love a good orange gin and lemonade yes i'm different and i drink orange gin instead of pink gin 
I do drink pink gin as well. What are your plans for YouTube? So I think my plans for YouTube is just film what you want. Um, so I have been doing like fashion, beauty lifestyle videos. I've done a lot of hauls and I'm fully aware of that, but um, I don't want to stop doing the hauls just because I do really enjoy filming them and I know people enjoy watching them as well. What I would like to start incorporating though is doing like home sense hauls or B&M, home bargains, things like that because I love shops like that. Also, I really want to start incorporating food videos. Not sure how interesting people would find that because people aren't really subscribed to my channel for food videos, but I'm a massive fan of food. So why would I not put it on my YouTube channel? And um, I think Alex might join the channel soon, so we'll see. I also would quite like to do like music kind of video, not music videos, oh my God, bloody music videos, imagine playlist videos whether it's like drive with me's or just showing you my favorite playlists things like that i've always been a fan of music so that is something else i know that i'd enjoy what have you done in 2020 that's made you proud um hmm, i don't know my best achievement that i'm proud of myself for this year is starting this channel as cringy as it sounds I never, never thought that I would actually do it. And I've said it so many times, but I'm still shook. Sometimes I just go on my page and just remind myself like, I did that. I was brave to do that, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Who's your celeb crush? Um, My celeb crush, probably Zac Efron and Alex Bowen. Everyone loves a bit of Alex Bowen. And also I've got a thing for OV as well. We all love OV from Love Island. If you could only eat three meals for the rest of your life, what would it be? Chili con carne, curry, curry with all the sides, fave, and we've got a stick of dessert in there. So, um, cookie dough and ice cream. That classes as a meal, don't it? Like, if I could only eat three meals, like, and that's it. You've got to, you've got to put the sweet stuff in there. What's your pet's name? I have. A dog and two hamsters. So my dog is Timmy. I'll pop a picture on the screen of him. He's a little shit and we love him. I also have two Russian dwarf hamsters. One called Pickles and the other... What's my brother called? His hamster. I'll pop it on the screen because I just don't know. Um, and I'll pop a picture of them on the screen as well because they're very cute. If animals could talk, which one would you have a conversation with? It's got to be Timmy. I would have a conversation with Timmy. How do you feel about pineapple on pizza? Um, I have nothing against it. I don't really think it goes though. There are better things you could choose to put on your pizza. I mean, you do you, but personally, you can't go wrong with a bit of like chicken and meat and just not pineapple. Favourite thing about autumn probably the cozy clothes like the big jumpers and big coats candles and things like that i feel like that's just autumn all over i don't really know it's not my favorite season i'm all about christmas and summer favorite school memory favorite school memory i used to love science classes i used to love geography classes I just had some great pals at school. Out of school, I would probably say prom was a great memory and I know a lot of people didn't actually enjoy their proms. I personally really enjoyed mine. More so the after party because that was just so good. It was such a nice thing to end on. Will a dark clip go with this? I feel like, I don't really know. One place you want to visit before you die. The Bahamas, the, um, you know, the pig island. I don't even want to go there just for the photos. I just really like pigs and I feel like that would be such a surreal place to go to. And the little villas that you stay in there just look unreal. I'm gonna brave the dark clip and if I don't like it, oh, I don't know, I'm scared. I can't find a red lip liner, so this is gonna have to do, it's brown. Okay, so I'm thinking this, oh my God, this is gonna look like a Halloween makeup look. So we're gonna go for Halloween vibes. I've never tried this. It's a Colourpop lipstick and um, this is just gonna go everywhere. Oh God, what have I done? So here's the makeup look. I've now been reminded why I don't wear red lipstick, um, especially when I don't have fake tan on. 
big regrets. I'll be sticking to my nude lipsticks for the foreseeable future. But anyways, matches my mug. It doesn't, my mug's pink. Never mind. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you smash the like button and leave a comment down below. And if you want to see what I get up to in my free time, feel free to follow my Instagram, which will be popped on the screen now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.